finally made the switch and yeah if you're on console just make the switch already hey yo it's your boy a golly coming at you with another video and today i will be blessing your eardrums and discussing about why i've decided to switch from console to pc now right off the bat we know this topic as uh we never really know exactly what we're getting into in terms of what parts to get what to shop for what do we actually want to do do we want performance do we just want to have productivity it it can be very diverse and intimidating when actually trying to pick out what type of pc you actually want so a little quick summary of my gaming history i've been gaming since i was a little kid like it all started with the nintendo 64 and eventually i ended up playing i think almost actually every gaming system because either a friend had something i didn't have or a family member had it i practically played almost every single game system anyway to make it short for all the people who probably won't end up actually watching the whole video switching over to pc from consoles probably one of the best decisions i made gaming related in general hands down now if there is one reason to specifically get into pc gaming is the frame rate like the best example i can actually give you without even going into it right now is say you play destiny or battlefield or any game that has a lot of things going on like grand theft auto where on console is probably capped at 30 fps or barely even hitting 60 fps and then when you switch over to pc where you have a, a uncapped pc desktop with 144 hertz and it's just unreal like it feels like a completely different game it just feels fluid consistent and the best part about it is that even if you don't end up liking the higher fps and the slightly maybe degraded quality depending on what kind of monitor you got you can easily change that in the settings of any game or matter of fact you can change your monitor settings as a whole and just focus on uh, quality of life now in terms of trying to figure out what kind of monitor you want to get it would depend on whether or not you're playing single player games or you want you know the best quality graphics you can get or if you're trying to get uncapped frames uh, the best amount of performance you can get playing competitively then you would have to figure out exactly what quality and what refresh rate and I'll put a link in the description below from reddit for a guide on picking what monitor you want. Onwards to the next part of the video which is something I wanted to discuss since being a content creator well you know trying to be a content creator and seeing my recent video history is that the functionality of PC versus console meaning that editing softwares is just non-existent on Xbox except maybe what upload, upload studio uh, I mean, it's not really diverse. You can't really, you know, start your own content creation career and be successful with it. I mean, I would be impressed if you even could somehow manage to do that. By all means, explain it in the comment section below. But it just can't compare to a PC where you can do encoding, editing, Photoshop, you name it. It has plus in terms of functionality in regards to say you're not a content creator or you just game it up for fun or if you're on console, productivity as a whole on the desktop is just hands down a thousand percent better. I mean, how would you even be productive on an Xbox or a PS4, or any other gaming console in general? Which brings me to my next topic of today's video, and that would be upgradeability. Upgradeability would be in per se that what you are trying to achieve out of the build that you are currently buying or building. Now in terms of actually upgrading your PC, you can always check the minimum requirements of say the game you want to play, such as saying that say you start your computer off with eight gigabytes of RAM and now you're trying to play Call of Duty at like say like a higher frame rate or in general, I think Call of Duty recommends you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM in the first place. All you'd have to do is open up your PC, already have the new ram sticks you would need you had to make sure that if it's say say how many uh ram slots you have so it's like if you have like four ram slots or you have two ram slots say if you want to go to 16 do 8 8 and then if you want to go to 32 if there's only two ram slots so we're just giving an example two ram slots then do 16 16 but if you have four ram slots and you're trying to aim for 32 do eight gigabytes for each do not mix match that's a no-no so just do eight 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 and eight and then i'll equal out the what kind of demands you need for the set game and then plus more ram in general will help you out in uh the long term anyway since you'll be future proofing and but that's just a whole another topic of discussion whether or not you want to future proof or not upon hearing this don't freak out there's literally like tons and tons of videos on what to look for in your pc build 
there's forums there's popular groups like reddit uh specifically the actual subreddit of build a pc which i ended up getting a good amount of info from and to make it easier for you i will drop a link to their actual subreddit in the description below don't worry i got you fam so if you plan on this you know leaving the video by now what you should take from this video is a key moment of interest is to literally research 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 i can't stress this enough just keep researching on what type of stuff you need look at what best parts would suit your needs for your build but above all else research if you have no idea what to do research so we are going to slide into the next topic of the video and that is game sales so unlike xbox and playstation these dudes over here at steam literally have sales for anything either you have the summer sale the spring cell, the Wunar cell, the I'm happy to be alive cell, I'm breathing cell. Literally, there's a cell every single day, regardless of what is going on. And then the beauty of it is that there's other sites that do the same exact type of cells that could be either cheaper or have popular in the indie developer games just for like a couple dollars i've i've seen freaking there was a game uh bully now to stack on the narrow limitless potential of pc gaming as biased as the sound we have the next topic which is called modding now in terms of modding you automatically get access to better visuals you'll end up getting extra content that either you make or other people make and then there is the beautiful customization of doing whatever you want like if you love open world games like Skyrim, Fallout, like the, it is so ridiculous what you can do in those games in terms of modding. You can make your dude magically OP, have him have boxing gloves, run around, invincible, one hit killing every single boss, every single person, anything in general. But overall and in conclusion, it is always going to be up to you to make the best choice for your personal needs. So it could be described as little as if you just want to, you know, chill on your couch, play with friends, have, you know, small exclusives, uh, have an easier access and functional uh, type of hardware and stick with console. But if you want better functionality, have the access to upgrade your hardware, amazing game deals, a system that will last for many years to come. The decision ultimately will always be up to you and make sure you leave some comments or concerns or any feedback in the comments section below. Now, if you wanna follow me on any of my social medias, post it down in the video description below. And this is your man, A. Godly signing off. Stay Godly.